kind of old, True. my life's kind of boring, also but I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas number nine. Things are going quickly. We're gonna have as much festive fun as we possibly can in these last few Vlogmas vlogs, but I just got ready for the day. I have such a fun day planned. I'm going to hang out with Karina and Alexa. We're having like a little bit of a girl's day, and I can't say too much yet, but we're doing a little bit of filming together for something that you may or may not have seen on Alexa's social media. So I had to go all out with the Christmas sweater here. Let me like set this up somewhere so I can show you because I did kind of like end up fixing it up. So I like shortened the straps. I kind of like pinned everything down a little bit. 100% transparency here. I fully have all of these safety pinned to this sweater. So I just need to make sure I'm like really careful and don't bump into anything too much, but it looks so cute. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It definitely looks a lot better like this. I'm still not hundred percent sure how I feel about them on the sleeves, but I was kind of just trying to go with the theme of like the inspiration sweater. So here we have it. So I'm going to show you my little outfit of the day. I'm kind of deciding on what skirt I want to wear. I don't have that much time because I need to hit the road because traffic is it's LA, so it's terrible, but um, here's what we've got so far. Okay, so I've got my little DIY Christmas sweater on. It is seriously so cute. We were watching Insecure last night. We've been re-watching it, and I just kind of like played with this and like, you know, shortened everything, tied everything up, did all of that while we were watching the show, and it was so nice. I have my little Old Navy skirt on. I'm kind of potentially thinking about trying on a different skirt we'll see and then i have on my new red socks i just thought these would be so cute these are i think from amazon and then my flats are from journey collection these are called the carry which i think is so cute they're like a little mary jane ballet flat however they are not comfortable at all so wouldn't recommend <laughs> i will definitely be on the hunt for a better pair they just like or maybe i just need to break them in and then i've got my little my little braids mostly because i just didn't have time to do my hair but also because i think it looks so cute with the bangs I'm obsessed. And yes, I do still have the mess from the previous Vlogmas in here. I have not gotten to clean it up yet. But anyways, I also have, have this little slip skirt that I also think maybe would look cute. So let me try it on. I'll just like slip it over what I have already. Cause I think like the little pop of lace might be really cute. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, this is what this one looks like. I do like the pop of lace, however, this doesn't like flare out as much as the other one. And I feel like with the boxiness of the sweater, it's nice to kind of match that with the skirt, even though this is really cute. I think this will be better for underneath like oversized t-shirts and things like that. So, okay, just go ahead and scrap that idea. So, okay, we're good to go. I've got my little bag packed. I got this cute little Vagu bag. I think this was the Sandy Liang collaboration that Vagu did with them. I can't remember, but yeah, it does. It says right here on the side. It's so, so cute. I love this pattern so much. We also have the matching picnic blanket so i've got a snack i've got my purse my wallet i have a white t-shirt on because i'm going to be trying some stuff on i have my makeup bag for touch-ups i'm not doing my lipstick or anything yet and we're gonna head in the car and go make the drive hopefully it won't take long it's actually like i think dying down a little bit because it's like 8 45 now 8 40 so we're gonna head in the car and go off and have a fun little girlies day let's do it You guys, look where I am, and look who I'm with! <laughs> it's like being inside of your favorite TV show. Yeah. Except it's like one of my best friend's houses. It's so fun! We're in her little like filming room. It's adorable, there's so many like memories. Like our, um, RIP, I can't talk about that actually. <laughs> oh yeah! I did, um, did I thrift you that? It. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I've been trying to get him. <laughs> I can't get him to like move It's over. okay. We'll get him back up someday. Um, We matched, we thrifted or like we found these at an estate sale. They were matching like art pieces. Mine fell off the wall and shattered. So it's devastating. But then we also have our other matching ones. Her little cake. That was from the same yeah, one, same. right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, I didn't, I have photos <gasps> over there on the wall. Too. Oh, cute. They were in the back of my videos, but then my camera kept focusing on them. They just wanted to see me. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. So we're gonna film something really fun together. Um, by the time this video goes up, I think the first one will be up in two or three days. I don't, listen, I don't know math. I don't know what's <laughs> happening, but um, we're gonna film our little videos mm -hmm. and we will see you shortly. Girls Bye. day! Yay. <laughs> Okay, we just 
finished filming our videos and now we're going out for lunch but I did want to say that Alexa put so much thought and care into these videos that she's doing she's basically doing a series I'm not gonna say anything else but make sure you subscribe to her channel if you haven't because it's gonna be really, really good. I can't wait to see the other ones too. And we did um, actually all cry. Yeah. Um, like we actually all cried. So keep an eye out for that. But now we're getting lunch. Thank you so much. Influencers in the wild. <laughs> Everyone's taking pictures. Our babies! We made a little coffee stop before our lunch. We went to this Black Dot Coffee, which we've been to a couple times together before, and it's really good. And I love my Christmas sweater. I feel like so festive. What's, so, what's yeah. funny is we both, we all oh. three of us had that sweater pinned on Pinterest. Yes, oh. that's the best part is all three of us wanted it and I said, I'm spending Here's $500. Here's DIY mine. Yeah, yes. yeah 100%. <laughs> And now it's like, it's so relaxing to like crochet and, well, not, I'm braiding, I'm not crocheting, but like just to do that with your hands is like so relaxing. Yeah. Anyways, making a quick little coffee stop before lunch and it's time for some veggie grill and I'm so excited. Behind the scenes of me trying to get an outfit video. There was a kid at the window, he was like, sorry. <laughs> he was in my photo, I was like, you're fine. We got our food. I have so much food, it's actually kind of sad. Um, <laughs> I definitely accidentally no ordered too much. But yeah, Karina and I are sharing this crispy cauliflower. It has an orange dipping sauce, it's so good. I have some buffalo wings, which have like doubled in size since the last time I ordered them. Mm -hmm. She said, do you want three or six? And I was like, well, six, obviously. And look how big these are. And I've already started eating it. And then I have some fries, a strawberry lemonade, we got a Caesar buffalo chicken salad, something, and then like a power bowl. Is that like what it's called? A kale thing. A kale thing. All hail kale. <laughs> All hail kale. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> we all got our flavored Woo! I have a strawberry, we're, we're back home now. Yeah. I have a strawberry margarita. Mango. Mango margarita. and lime. And limon. limon. Cheers! <laughs> Good morning, it is actually the next day. We had such a fun little like girls night. We ended up having a margarita, sitting on the couch for like four hours talking and then I went home around like eight o'clock. And now it is the next morning, it is a Saturday morning and Drew and I are finally, finally going on like our little coffee walk. We have like been just busy, running all over the place, crazy. And honestly like, I miss it. I miss our routine on the weekends. I miss walking to our coffee shops and like walking to the park and doing all that kind of stuff. And we probably haven't done that in well over a month. Like it's it's just been a lot of go, go, go. It's the holidays, you know. So that is what we're gonna do. I think it's supposed to be like 80 degrees in LA today, which is just crazy. But it is supposed to cool down like pretty severely. Like I think like 20 degrees or so later this week. But it's just kind of funny. So we're having like a random heat wave in December. It doesn't feel very Christmassy at all. So I don't know if like what I'm Wearing is gonna be um, if I'm gonna be sweating to death, but we'll see it's only like 9 in the morning So anyways, we're gonna go ahead to one of our favorite coffee shops and just have like a nice Reset morning routine on the weekend. I literally can't wait. Oh, it's so dark in here. Great. Cool. Love that I live in a cave. I need to clean this mirror, but here is the outfit that I'm wearing nothing special Just my favorite sweatshirt that I think I got at H&M like probably two years ago or something like that I'm wearing my Lululemon aligned leggings and my Converse. Name your favorite Nirvana song. <laughs> Name five Nirvana songs. <laughs> Every man ever. And I've got my cute little pink sunnies to match my pink sweatshirt. Oh my God, that reminds me actually. There was a time when I was with Sierra. I was visiting her, I think in like 2021 for when we were filming our Taylor Swift videos. And we went to breakfast and I was where I had just come off the plane and I was wearing a t-shirt that had like Def Leppard. And the waiter, he, I think he was like the manager of the restaurant was like, Here's a proposition I have for you. If you can name me five Def Leppard songs, I'll give you money off of your, I'll give you a free coffee or something like that. And I literally go, we're not doing this. We're not doing it. I literally 
like put my hand up and I was like, no, we're not doing this. This whole like thing that you're doing to me right now. Like, oh, does a woman know? We're not doing this. And like literally Sierra was just like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you for saying that. I was just like, absolutely not. Absolutely oh, yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. That's just what I kept saying over. And I was like, we're not, no. The audacity of men. The audacity of men. Okay, let's go. Stop at Erewhon, because why not? Let's indulge ourselves. Me to myself every day when I look in the mirror. <laughs> again in another aisle so I'm, I feel like we just have to try them. We're, um, we were just gonna stop in and look but of course now it's unhinged. It's time for an Air One haul. For those of you who aren't familiar, Air One is an insanely overpriced grocery store that I think only exists in LA as far as I know right now and they just have like kind of more healthy stuff it's definitely very LA like there's cassava chips and like popped lily seed crackers and like all this different kind of stuff it's just kind of like hippy dippy so we occasionally like to go there and like try a bunch of random stuff sometimes they have like sort of normal brands and then other times they have just like real funky gunky stuff and I think it's time to try that's one of Drew's like Drew's and my love languages really is just trying like random food and trying like special edition things and snacks from other countries and all different kinds of stuff so we just grabbed whatever felt right and I will be totally forthcoming and letting you know that all of this that is sitting right in front of you was $115 I don't talk about it. So, okay. We'll start with the boring stuff. We got these pretzel crisps. These are just like the normal, they have these at like every regular grocery store. But we had some pub cheese from Trader Joe's that would just be really good with like a pretzel. We've been dipping like kettle chips in it, but I feel like a pretzel and pretzel and pub cheese is just the way to go. We got these back to nature crackers. These are kind of like the Ritz crackers and like the crackers that we get from Trader Joe's, but we wanted to try these with some other things we got. This is Patagonia Provisions and it's mussels. And if you remember, we tried a few like canned things from Trader Joe's. We tried the eggplant, these like giant beans, mussels, oysters. Yes. And then also... And like something else. Wasn't there like a salmon? Oh, like trout? But we got some lemon herb mussels to try because those looked good. <laughs> you can see your phone in the corner. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I don't care. So we're going to try that with the crackers as well as some creme fraiche. Everyone on TikTok went through like a whole thing a few months ago where it was like trying all these different tinned fish and I had never had it before and surprisingly, I love mussels. This is just like a normal, I think they have these at the regular grocery stores as well, just like a nice creme fraiche. And then we can use the rest of this to make like a pasta sauce or you know, something like that. They are the same as Patagonia. It's like the, the athletic wear yeah, brand? The same company. That's so weird. I had no idea that. It makes sense. Like, you could take that with you food. because yeah. it's canned or it's canned. Oh, yeah. Like, if you're camping, mm -hmm. if you want to be real bougie when you're camping. I eat, like, hot dogs when I'm camping. <laughs> but they, they eat lemon herb mussels. <laughs> so, we got that. We got this. Uh, Siete has, like, such good tortillas, chips. Um, I've had the taco shells, hot sauce, enchilada sauce. And they make, um, like a lot of gluten-free stuff. People who have like different health things, they make like just very gluten-free, vegan, etc. friendly thing. This is paleo and vegan. I don't know if these are gluten-free though. Oh yeah, they are. Certified gluten-free. And actually we were in the aisle and this lady just was like hanging around and I was like, oh sorry, I'm in your way. And she was like, you have to try those. They're so good. And I was like, really? And we've had the churro ones, but she said these are delicious. And then we recommended the churro ones to her. So then she was like, I was like, thanks for the recommendation. She was like, thank you for the recommendation. It was really sweet. So we got these. They're yellow flavored. They're with coconut sugar. So I'm not sure, but they're like a cinnamon crisp, kind of like chip. 
And that smells delicious. I feel like the other ones that we tried were strips and they reminded me kind of of Taco Bell's well, cinnamon weren't twist. Weren't those their churro ones, weren't they with chocolate too? The, Maybe. I think they were chocolate cinnamon. Maybe, so we'll see. Those are just like a cinnamon sugar type of vibe. We also got Hello I'm Ugly dried fruit. I love this brand name so very much. Um, but it's dried fruit and it looks delicious. We also got Snacklins, which are like a cracklin, but it's healthy. Mushroom. And it's, yeah, it's made out of mushroom. And so Drew got one of these little bags to try and it's the Chesapeake Bay flavor. So we'll see. We got Emmy's Organics Thin and Crispy Chocolate Chip Brownie Snaps. And it says on the back that like, a guy who was gluten free and a girl who were, was gluten free like met each other and they fell in love and then they would like bake together and now they started this brand. And I just thought that was really cute. And I love brownies. Their first batch of treats sold out at their local farmer's market at home. Now Ian, Samantha, and their team send Emmy's cookies all over the world. And Ian's mom's name is Emmy. That's so cute. And then I got four perfect bars because I love my perfect bars. Oh, and then we got a bunch of sodi pops to try. Drew got a ruby, ruby sparkling hibiscus. Did you say ruby? <laughs> this fucking guy. You can't you, get away with saying you would do anything. The, you would do the exact same thing to anyone. Yeah, else. I would do it 10 times worse too, mm -hmm. to be fair. Oh, Drew's trying a cracklin or a snacklin. Snacklin. I'm over here. <laughs> How is it, how's the mushroom? <gasps> he said. It just tastes like a pork rind. It really? It's like, like 10 30 in the morning, but sure. It, it looks like really greasy too. It's um so it's like old bay, old bay seasoning. It's really good. I'm not a big fan of mushroom and neither is scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real good. I taste like a slight different. Sure, it's not like the mm -hmm. same texture, mm -hmm. but it's damn close to yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. Anyways, we got this ruby sparkling hibiscus soda in the Fuji apple flavor, so we're gonna try that. I saw that they have a watermelon lime flavor Olipop now. I didn't even look to see if this was caffeine free, but I'm, oh, oh. I think the only ones that have caffeine are like the cola ones, but I'll double check on that. And then these, I don't know actually what the brand is called, cause it, oh, United Sodas of America. There we go. And these are so cute. So these are like a caffeine free soda, like a natural soda. And Drew got the pear elderflower flavor. And then I got the strawberry basil flavor, so. Oh, and then the last thing is we got some wine, some orange wine. This is a, a Chilean wine called Naranjo. And it looks really, really good. And it has like a cool wax cork. So that's amazing. So that's me accidentally spending $115 at Erewhon. We'll try Emmy's. No. The sugar free though. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll report back in future videos, but in the meantime, we have a lot of bad things to catch up on, so let's do it. Okay, it's that time, everybody. Move, Stanley's. Okay. Oh, Trish trying the pear elderflower soda and he went. Is it good? Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it's really good. It is time for Advent, so we're just gonna have some of these crackers. Oh. Because we're My too lazy Lord. to make toast. <laughs> we each have four. Okay, first up, we have the Bon Maman Jam Advent Calendar, and we get to try four this time because we did not do any kind of Advent in the last vlog. There's 15. 15, 16, 17, 18. That's what we're doing. Okay, so I'll do 15. Today we have Mirabelle Plum Spice Spread. Who's Mirabelle? Mirabelle? Plum Spice. Cute. You want to do 16? You can do it because it's on that. Because it's closer to me. Yeah. 16. Orange guava lime. Mm. Tropical. Love that. Okay. Be cool. You can do 17. I'll do 18. All right. Go ahead. We got peach mint. Interesting. Ooh, yum. Ooh. Pineapple ginger. Ooh, that sounds really good. That'd be good in a cocktail. Mirabelle plum spice. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Every single one of these is delicious. I like that one. I like it a lot. I'm gonna be so honest, I don't know what I taste, but it tastes good. All it tastes is like sweetness and then the spice, like mm -hmm. whatever the spice is. But it's really, really good. Okay, next, orange guava lime. Ooh, she's solid. Ooh, it's like jelly. Yeah, some are like jelly and some are like jam, which is interesting. I can already tell you're not gonna like this one. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that, because you never know. 
but you're just not a big like tropical flavor. So like, oh, there's chunks. It's probably chunks of guava. <laughs> I can smell guava. Ooh, oh my god, it smells so good. I love like guava, passion fruit, any of that kind of thing. All right, cheers. I love that for you. <laughs> I'm making that into a cocktail immediately. Mmm. It's not bad. I don't think it'd be something that I would go for though. No. It's not my favorite flavor. Love the open mind though. Of course. <laughs> Next we have peach mint. <clears throat> I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Probably not. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Why is she stringy? <laughs> I, don't know. I love how over the years you have also adopted my, <laughs> my like I gender things. Like I'm like she's she's lumpy or whatever. You're like why is she stringy? <laughs> Oi! It's so great. Cheers. Cheers. It's mint. It's not for me. This would be really good if you were making like a mojito. You just put a little bit in there and like shake yeah. it up. Mmm. It's not like overpowering, like it's mm. not like now my breath is like minty fresh, no. you know. But there's definitely you can definitely, you can taste, definitely it. taste mint. And that one I feel like you can taste peach and mint, like it's good. All right, and last but not least, pineapple ginger. Oh yeah, this is definitely jelly. I can see little bits of ginger or pineapple. They're both possibly. Very shiny, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like almost like crystallized Whoa. jelly or something. The texture is so different. Uh huh. You probably can't see that, but interesting. All right, last one. Look at it, it's like little hair sticking up. I don't taste anything. Me either. What? I just taste sweetness. Yeah, it's really good. So anyway, oh, I guess we have two more to do. I, listen, at this point in vlogmas, in the season, whatever, I'm kind of over it, but we committed, so we're gonna do it. Now we gotta do 15 yes. through 18. So 15, this is C's candy, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, this Another is- Another lollipop. Right. Yep, Oh, well, this one's butterscotch, at least. Oh my God, a different flavor. We got a butterscotch lollipop. We have more milk chocolate. Mmm. Mm -hmm. 17, we have- Another marshmallow. Probably, let's try it. It's either a marshmallow or like caramel every day. Another like butter, what's it called? Like no butter truffles, like you have no truffles, nothing. That's definitely the best one so far. Like, we, I've had it before though, it's a repeat. And then 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they alternate between, you get Every something other day. and then milk chocolate. Something and then milk chocolate. Every other day it's milk chocolate. Okay, anyways. Okay. Sorry to all my C's candies lovers out there. I have mine now. Drew's doing the 30 days of Japan, by the way. Um, and he's already like day I'm on 20. 21. So Someone commented that like the look on my face every time you go so far ahead was like making them laugh. Like I'm just like, <laughs> like judging you. What's this? Ooh. Sweet oh, two chocolate. Of it's tea. Oh, soccer tea. Soccer tea. Get a loose leaf tea. Sakura, the cherry blossom, is the national flower of Japan and symbolizes the Japanese concept of beauty. Enjoy the soft, mellow flavor of sakura. Steep for one to two minutes. We will definitely have to try this. No, nice. nice. that's and actually really cool. I'll do. I'll just do twenty-two. Because okay. we're only <laughs> yeah. more candy. <gasps> candy. Cherry flavored. So. Yeah, this is, I don't know what it is, but cherry in Japanese is one of my favorite words to say. What is it? Sakurambo. Sakurambo, mm. bebe. I like it. I like that. And then. This is a cute little package of candy. And then ramen. Ooh, nice. So cherry and ramen flavors. These almost look like, um, like chocolates. <clears throat> I wonder if it's gum. Mm, no, it's very chewy. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our Saturday and we will catch up what with you. What are we you. doing? I don't know. What are we doing? Probably sitting on the couch. Probably. We're still trying to recover because we are supposed to be traveling back to Arizona in like four days or something like that. And neither of us are in any kind of condition to like fly. You know, I was sick previously when we were in Japan and then we flew home and I wasn't sick anymore, but I still had sinus congestion and it ruined one of my ear drums, like in my ear canal. Like I have eustachian tube dysfunction for the rest of my life because of that. And I probably had it leading up to it or whatever, but I don't want that to happen to the other ear and stuff. So we gotta work on getting ourselves better. Anyway, we will see you very soon for vlogmas number 10. We'll see you then. Bye.